Welcome back to Jersey Matters. We're taping on a rainy day in Lakewood, New Jersey. Hey, did you know that Elizabeth, not Trenton, was the first capital of New Jersey? And it wasn't named after Queen Elizabeth, but Elizabeth Carteret, who was a wealthy landowner in colonial times. That city has so much history. And now our Vanessa Tyler reveals a bit of history that many thought would stay buried. Larry, there is so much history in plain sight, often overlooked, like this graveyard behind the First Presbyterian Church on Broad Street in Elizabeth. Here lies those who shaped New Jersey and the spirit of America. This is the most historic cemetery in the state of New Jersey. The headstones here prove it. Time may have worn away many names. Walking through this graveyard is like walking through history. On this day, a tour of the cemetery and the bold-faced names of history. There are others here, not so famous, but whose lives are just as valuable to be remembered. So please uh, join me in welcoming Sean Bright. It all started with the curious Sean Brighty, a Brown University student who began with a class project on genealogy and ended up going deeper into the ground. I combed through all of the records from 1840 to 1902. On the grounds of the Presbyterian Church behind the cemetery in the equally historic Snyder Academy building, an audience invited by the Old First Historic Trust, the organization that oversees the grounds here. Sean told them what he learned as he was trying to find the plots of his own family members buried in that centuries old cemetery. His research into the church's old burial records unveiled 5,000 bodies buried and about 2,000 markers are here. But what is really surprising over in the far corner chained off in the segregated section called the island records show graves are missing that hundreds of these unmarked african-american burials lie in that corner under what's now the church parking lot what sean uncovered was many of the graves are well covered paved over by a driveway. The area built up around it includes the Union County Courthouse and a multi-story garage. Here lies early African Americans, both slave and free. Uh, you get individuals who actually own substantial amounts of property, which is very rare for an African American of the mid-19th century. The cemetery itself goes back to the late 1600s, um, but the earliest marked African American we grave we have is 1840. Uh, and there are only five marked African-American graves uh, out of the uh, over 350 African-American individuals buried there. Is the stone for Lafayette Boylston, uh, the one that actually labels him as colored, uh, which is really what started the whole examination of this part for me. Just the sheer number of unmarked graves, that some of those really might still be under the current driveway and that that was really really surprising so we do hope that we will have the funding available um, over the near future to be able to memorialize some of those people who are unmarked and and not named but we'd like to do that well i didn't realize that here at the presbyterian church in elizabeth new jersey that there was a large number of african americans who were church members worshiped and are buried on the grounds here and um, that we can honor honor them and hopefully look for a way of honoring them and that when you call their names they're remembered the stories do not continue to be told and it's so exciting that this young man has taken the time and brought forth this information that we can now honor those who are unnamed and those who have been a part of these communities. As for Sean, he started the project looking for his relatives. I found my family in the book originally. Last name Tuckers, some listed as Tukers. I have a family connection to Elizabethtown. Um, my ancestors actually were some of the original founders. So it appears he continues his family line of discovery. In Elizabeth, I'm Vanessa Tyler for Jersey Matters. All right, thanks for that, Vanessa. Coming up, New Jersey is talking about banning menthol cigarettes. 
We'll tell you where that stands when Jersey Matters continues.